If you don't understand how LWC lifecycle hook works, then you're watching the correct video. Because in this video, I'm going to show you using visual representation how LWC lifecycle hook works. So let's get started. Consider this as our DOM and this is our LWC code. Now, this LWC code, we are going to wrap it up and then we're going to insert it inside the DOM. And as soon as we do that, the constructor will get called. Let's look into it code wise, how it looks like. So as you can see right now, I have created a lightning web component called as basic LWC. And it also has a JavaScript file where I've called constructor, which alerts constructor is called. And the same LWC component called as basic LWC, I have added it to my home page as well. So I can see basic LWC and it is also printing basic LWC component. So as you can see, it's basic LWC component is visible. Now if I reload this page, my LWC component will get inserted to the DOM and we will get an alert constructor is called. But you might have a question that inside this constructor, we have a super keyword. What's the use of the super keyword? Why do we have it? And what's the significance of this super keyword? What if we do not write it? What's going to happen? So every JavaScript or every coding language has its own constructor. So JavaScript also has its own constructor. And if you do not write that super keyword, then it's just a simple straightforward constructor. And that uh, the constructor which does not have super keyword, it will just instantiate itself. Okay, if it does not have super keyword, it will just instantiate itself. On the other hand, if, has, if it has super keyword inside it, then first it's going to go and instantiate its parent component. And once the parent component has, has been instantiated, it will call itself that is the LWC component. Now the advantage of this is that first the parent components are getting instantiated. So now you have the values and the properties of the parent components within yourself. So the child component can use the properties of the parent component. And as we see to our basic LWC component, it does not has any parent at all. So still, why are we writing the super keyword? So if you're thinking your LWC component does not has any parent at all, if you right now see they're extending the lightning element. So here for your LWC component, the parent is lightning element. So if right now the constructor will get called automatically first it calls super basically calling the lightning element first, that is the parent and then it will go and instantiate itself. Okay. So because of the super keyword, it goes to the lightning element, instantiates the lightning element and then again come back to the constructor and instantiate itself. So your next question would be, what is this lightning element? What is the use of this lightning element then? So lightning element is nothing but lightning web component framework. All the life cycle hooks, all the LWC, like all the things that you do inside the LWC component is only possible because you are extending the lightning element. Uh, apex type of example would be, let's say if you want to implement start, execute and finish method, the way you ex implement the database dot batchable, same way, if you want to make a HTML and JavaScript file equivalent to that of the lightning web component, you extend the lightning element. So lightning element is nothing but lightning web component framework. Let's say if I do not extend it, if I remove this and I am removing the super keyword as well, What's going to happen? Let's see. If I go to my home page and if I reload it right now, you can see basic LWC component. If I reload it, my LWC component was not even added. And the reason for that is because now it is just a simple JavaScript file. It's not a lightning web component anymore. Not even the constructor was called. And the reason for that is again, it's not a lightning web component anymore. And hence it won't have any useful lifecycle looks available for itself. So that's the reason we need lightning element because it gives us the framework of that lightning web component. And also if we do not write this super keyword, what's going to happen? Let's see if I do not write super keyword inside the constructor and I'm just calling the plain constructor. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Let's see if I re reload it. As you can see, the constructor got called and if I click on OK, nothing is working at all. I'm seeing a blank page in front of me. And the reason for that is because 
constructor got called but there is no super keyword it is just instantiating instantiating itself hence because there is no super keyword it's not implementing the lightning web component framework as there is no super keyword it just instantiate itself and it is not instantiating anything from the lightning element class so that's the reason why we write super keyword inside the constructor because we need lightning element framework or the lightning web component framework to do all the things we do so if you have no questions about this uh, about this life cycle hook let's move on to our next life cycle hook that is connected callback whenever your lwc component is connected to the dom that's where connected callback is called and within this connected callback the lwc code that you have starts getting converted into a tree structure now what do i mean by that is as you can see our lwc code has a template over here at the top node so automatically a node of template will be created similarly we have a div under that template so similarly under the template we will have a div, stru div structure and similarly under the div we have a p and hello world and you can see a p and a hello world over here as well so basically whatever lwc code that you have will start getting converted into the tree structure just like this so let's look into the code how it will work so after the constructor the next life cycle look that executes is connected callback and just as we saw in the previous slide connected callback executes only when your lwc component is connected to the dom so right now if i reload this page first the constructor will get called and next the connected callback will get called so let's reload this page and we can see constructor is called and after that the connected callback is called now the main use case of connected callback is to pull the data from your apex inside your lwc component which we also call as imperative call in lwc so right now if you see what i'm trying to do over here is i've created a get data function which is importing lwc learn apex class which has a method named as get account data and basically this method is doing nothing but it's bring br randomly bringing any random account okay any random account it's bringing so basically this get data will have any random account and i'm making a call to that apex class and using this result i'm able to bring the accounts name over here in very simple terms most probably connected callback is used in order to bring the data from apex which we also call as imperative call so if i reload this page right now by doing a hard reload if i reload this page i should be able to see the constructor first executed and next the connected callback will bring the data so constructor is called and after that we should be able to see account is new and that this is the name of the account test new account okay so yes connected callback is used to bring the data from apex one more very important use case of connected callback is or we can say a limitation of connected callback is that let's say right now what i have done is i have created an html file if i go to this html file i have a div and under the div i have paragraph and under that i have written please subscribe now if i want to access that div inside the connected callback basically if i want to access this this particular div or any of the com component or any of the element of this connected uh, any of the element of this html page inside the connected callback i won't be able to okay if you see right now inside this alert i'm trying to query select the div and i won't be able to and the reason is because even though the tree structure is getting formed it's not yet formed completely in the video i saw i showed it because i cannot draw it at the same time so basically what happens is the tree structure starts forming over there and it's not formed yet completely and that is the reason why even though the tree structure is, is yet just started forming you cannot access the element from the tree structure thus you cannot access the elements inside the connected callback of your html page so if you are understood this life cycle hook let's move on to our next life cycle hook is that is nothing but the render callback so every time your lwc component is re-render that's where render callback is called now you might be thinking okay i have heard this many times but i do not understand what does it means let me explain you with a real world example so right now i have this lwc code and what i have done is i have created a variable called as hello world so basically i just gave it curly braces so it became a variable right now and let's consider this variable is reactive 
let's say it's tracked decorated or even if it is not it's reactive by default so it's a reactive variable and every time i change the value of this variable your whole lwc component gets re-rendered and that's where render callback gets called so in very simple terms every time the reactive value changes lwc component gets re-rendered and that's where render callback is called let me explain you by doing a coding example so now just to explain you render callback what i've done is i have created a variable called as hello world his value is sample value and i'm printing the same variable value in the screen in the html as well so basically i will see sample value at the start and i have a button over here as well which is calling handle click and within that handle click what i'm trying to do over here is that i'm just trying to make if the hello world is sample value i'm changing the value basically i'm just changing the value of this dot hello world and i am also calling the rendered callback lifecycle hook now every time the value of this variable because it's reactive every time the value of this variable will keep on changing render callback will be called simultaneously let's see if i reload this page even if i reload this page that's where also the render callback gets called which will be after the connected callback and if you click on it right now you can see sample value now every time i click on this what's going to happen is that the value of that variable this dot hello world basically which is showing sample value will will get changed the component will get re-rendered and the render callback will also get called so right now if i click on it you can see render callback gets called value is changed again if i click on it again render callback gets called value is changed so very simple terms if your lwc component is getting re-rendered that's where the render callback is getting called and one more important thing is that inside render callback you will be able to access your html elements for an example in connected callback you are not able to access this div right if if you try to do a query selector on div you would have got it null on the other hand in render callback as your tree structure is now successfully formed thus you will be able to access the elements of your html as well if you have understood this lifecycle hook let's move on to our last lifecycle hook that is disconnected callback and also we are going to discuss a little bit about error callbacks so now every time whenever your lwc code is hidden or either if it is removed from the dom that's where disconnected callback gets called so let's understand it with the coding example so just to demonstrate you how disconnected callback works what i have done is i have created a another variable called as bullware which will be by default false and the value of this bullware variable will be changed to true or either false if I click on the button so if you remember from the previous one I have created a button and on the click of the button once the variable value will become true and next time it will become false and using this bullware variable I am trying to show a child component so I have one more LWC component child component and if by default the bullware variable will be false so I won't be able to see this child component but when I click on this button next time the bullware variable will become true and I will be able to see this child component and if I again click on it, will it will become false. Again, the child component will be hidden. And if you remember right now, what I said is that if you remove an LWC component from the DOM or either if you even hide it, that's where the disconnected callback gets called. So here, the child component will simultaneously get shown or either hidden. And whenever it will be hidden, it's disconnected callback will get called. So I'm using the disconnected callback of the child component. So right now, let's see how it works. So right now I can see a button sample value. If I click on this, the bullware value will become true and I will be able to see the child component. See, you can see this is child component. And next time if I again click on it, now what's going to happen is that this child component will get hidden. And because of that, as we already know, if it's hidden, it, the disconnected callback will get called. So child LWC components disconnected callback will get called. If I click on it, you can see child disconnected callback called. So as you can see, Whenever a LWC component is hidden, even then the disconnected callback gets called. And the last lifecycle hook is error callback. So if you get any kind of error, it can be DML error or SQL error, or any kind of error. That's where the error callback gets called. You can easily read through the definition. But for these, there is no visual representation. So that's what I showed in this video. So if you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.